Hey guys, welcome to a new video and uh, today sometimes when you're um, using Windows you uh, might be like I want to try out some of the old OS's like Windows 7 and you uh, know that it works with most computers today but uh, but um, as you start putting in the um, ISO by um, downloading from Rufus like that and then once you're done you go and um, pick your um, image right here and then you would name it something like Windows 7 very simple and then you press start so and um, once um, you are done with that U USB, you would go and shut down your um, com com computer, and then you would go onto this menu. Um, I am have I can uh, press press enter and this um com comes up. So I'm gonna press F. We would. Go over and enable them um, CMSM boot mode. I made it UEFI only. So yeah. And then once you have that set, you would go and press F10. Enter. And it would re boot into the Windows 7 uh U USB drive. You soon see that Windows logo um sh showing, and then once you see the the ins installer, you uh, might go and try and use the installer, but nothing happens. Like I'm, I'm doing this, but there is no mouse. And even the keyboard can't do anything with this operating system. And you uh, might be like, is Windows 7 unsupported on on um, new hardware? Well, is is essentially yes. USB 3.0 drivers, like that's what's causing the mouse to not work because there is no 3M.0 because being because because there is no way of getting ISO to which or to um, to which already has USB 3M.0 drivers. When you think about it, Windows 7 is a very old operating system which came out in two two M thousand nine and. Uh, and um, that um, ver version of USB di did um, not exist. So, so I am going to show you how to get the um, to um, put the um, drivers into this installer. So first, you would just turn off your PC by um, um pressing the power button on your um on your system because you um can't. Like shut shut it down from here. Uh, sometimes you have to hold. Uh, you know that because there's no other way of doing it. And then you would take out the USB, and then you would power pa power back on. And I'll see you on the desktop. So so we're back on the um, desktop. And you would want to insert your U USB uh, here. So um, yeah. So um, first you would want to go and find um, the USB drivers and stuff. Um, it would be here, and then you just um um. Download this, and I am already have this, which is um, right here, 
and then you would want to make a folder on my desktop which is right here and I put it um, the um, this um, folder inside of this folder and then and then you would want to make a folder called mount and then you would want to go and open a elevated command prompt so I can get uh, Windows ter terminal and then you would want to go into this uh, low location cd that and then and then you uh, want to go and go into your Windows 7 uh, um, U USB drive and then go to sources and then you uh, want to find two files install uh, dot, dot wim not you and then find boot dot wim and then copy don't uh, cut copy and then paste that should take a few seconds uh, and then once once you have done that we are um, going to um, go and slipstream some the um, drivers into these um, boot uh, into these WIM files. So you so um you would go to your ca um command prompt and you would do dism and then do slash get WIM info. The WIM file. Uh, oh, you need to put a slash like that, and then you put in the name. Which um, first we'll do boot. Anyway, um, do boot dot WIM, and then you will see um, Microsoft Windows PE and um, Microsoft Windows Setup. And um, index two is the one to um, 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 that we want to mount. So we would do this um, command again, and then do slash mount. So um, here it sh it shows some some examples when you uh, uh, when you type in. Um, Dism and it um, shows a bunch of commands, and you would um, want to do um, slash slash mount mount whim and then slash whim uh, file which is boot dot whim and then you would want to um do index two and then uh mount dir and then you would do mount because that's the name of our fo fo folder and then you and then you would press enter hopefully this works and it is now mounting all um we are doing today is putting in the um, drivers so we want to do the same command again and we'll find um what we need to do um so um then you would um write out this and then you would do slash add driver i think you put a thing there and then you would uh, go and find the um, place where you put it which for me it is USB tree, and then you and you um, have to put it in quotes like this, and do slash recurse like that, and it should now install the drivers into the WIM file, which is cool. Go and unmount this uh, this um. um Image so you would do you no know, 
unmount wim and then you would do slash dir and that be uh, mount and then slash commit <coughs> and make sure uh, you are not like l like in the um, d the mount folder is not the uh, um this displayed and then press enter and it and and it will save the um the dim changes and um, it will unmount so um that folder will then be empty you um, have gave the um installer um um the abil ability to um use a, a mouse and keyboard to which has 3.0 but the um, actual OS st w won't work because it does not have the those um, drivers so you um do the exact same thing but it's the installed up whim Um, and then you want to go and do this some command and then do slash clean in up uh, whim and do that so um like like on this some command just um, finds any files to which has um, not been unmounted and so so um, it is kind of important to do this just just in case your um, whim gets cor corrupted when you boot it. But anyway, after that, you uh, you uh, want to go to that folder and just copy these into the um, the sources folder in here. So you want to go and find the install dot whim. Just right here, and you want to get delete this, and then um, go and take this out too, and then you will want to paste in the new ones, just like that, and it's coming from D D DRV. Anyway, now um. All that dozen WIM files are um, now in the installer. So now you um, can go and boot into that uh, thing again. Anyway, now Windows is loading files. And once that's done, you'll see the Windows logo, which is one, one of my favorite ones. And once this comes up, you will be surprised. You and you might doubt this would work. <gasps> and you can see a mouse. You can see a mouse. <gasps> you can see a mouse. And it moves. Oh my goodness, I can install Windows 7. Oh my god, I can install something so awesome. But of um and you can just press next. Press ins ins on now. But um obviously I'm not gonna install I'm not going to install this because and um if you think there's a way of upgrading, obviously that is not allowed because you are downgrading <laughs> downgrading to Windows 7. How funny would that be? Anyway, yeah. Uh but anyway, I am hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Enjoy Windows 7.